Hi, this is a Yesterday's Moves production, and we're back with Monster World 4 on the Sega Genesis Mini, or the Mega Drive, whichever you prefer. In the previous episode, we did a bunch of stuff, and I got an extra life drop, which I now have, so I now have six, because I forgot one, but I went back and got it. So there's a few things we need to do here in the town of Rapidagna, aka Hubtown, but first, we're going to go visit the Queen. Why? I don't know. Just to talk to her, I guess, because she has a new message for us. And also because, oh, because we're going to do something else. But first, I'm going to talk to this guy over here. And he's going to say, ho ho ho, that blue Pepelogu looks quite helpful. Why don't you give him a Pepe fruit? It's like catnip to a cat. Give him one and you're sure to make him happy. So I guess Pepe Logu is a guy, Pepe Logu. And here we go. We cannot go in this door because we don't have the medallion anymore. So yes, there is no going back. We must go forward to this door. Okay, so now we're going to go see the Queen. But before <laughs> we do that, we're going to jump over the wall and get a Pepe Fruit, because there's a Pepe Fruit here now. That's what it looks like. Uh-oh, Pepe Lagoo! What's wrong? Pepe Lagoo! Okay, you're bigger. This is amazing! Pepe Lagoo has grown! Yes, we have slightly bigger Pepe Lagoo, who weighs more, so now... Yeah, now it looks like we're carrying, carrying something slightly heavier. Or does it? Is it the same exact sprite? I couldn't tell you. So what are we going to do now? Now we're finally going to talk to the Queen and see what she has to say. You really do not need to do this at all. I'm just trying to be thorough. So we're also worth mentioning this video is going to be slightly shorter. Because I'm kind of splitting it into two, I guess you could say. I'm doing town and then a little bit of the next area. I heard you have saved the Earth Spirit. I'm so glad I asked you to help us. But three yet remain. Please hurry. I feel something bad is going to happen. I hope my fears are unfounded, but... But what? But what? Okay. So it's time to explore town. There's no real new areas, but there's some new stuff that we're going to get. And some people we're going to talk to. Now we could get new shield. A new shield, but... I typically don't bother with that, because I don't really find that there's an advantage to having a different shield. I know they have different properties and they protect against different stuff. But once I have this kind of shield that I have now, I really rarely get a new one. So let's talk to this lady. Look, my pep... Okay, forget what she's saying now. Forget what she's saying. I'm ignoring what she's saying. She has nothing to say. Okay. Look, my Peppa Lagoos. Pay, pee, and po. Or poo. They're so cute, aren't they? No. W what a dreadful little girl you are. Humph. Double humph. Fine, then. I won't buy your gold bars. Yeah, but what if I say yes? Yes. 
Yes, of course! A blue Peppa Lagoo is not always the best one. By the way, you have a gold bar with you. If you like, I'll buy it from you. How about 1,500 gold each? So we're not going to get a better price, and at this point we do want to sell both of them. So we'll go ahead and do that. But this is why selling all of your gold bars the first time around is not very beneficial. You want to maximize the amount of gold that you can get. And onto the store. Here we could... My husband is a complete fool. He got a Peppa Lagoo and he's been playing with it like a little child. He's in the back room. Go see for yourself. Oh, and by the way, don't you need a shield? See, it's basically the same as the shield I have now. Just flame shield. Whatever. Don't need it. Don't want it. But you! Hey there, young lady! I heard you saved the Earth Spirit. I was really surprised, because I didn't think you were so strong. There's more to you than... <laughs> There's more to you than meets the eye. Thank you, Optimus Prime. Here to shop, are ya? I'm talking weird today. What's up with this? Why am I talking weird? He said something. Whatever. Okay, we're just going to buy this one. Cyrus Sword, plus two strength. And now we have that one. And it also has a magical hit of plus four. So I'm not entirely certain how that works, but it doubles your damage or something. Makes it better if it happens. Yes. Okay, so there's at least two more, oh, maybe three more people to talk to. This is one of them. Hello, little boy. My daddy's not here right now. Is that all you have to say? I guess so. And you. Hehehe. <laughs> How could the flame wizard have failed? Hehehe. <laughs> Perhaps we underestimated these mortals. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, did I just say that out loud? Never mind. Hehehe. <laughs> That's really weird that the wizards are in town and just wandering around. Hehehe. <laughs> they have spread far and wide, just as planned. Hehehe. <laughs> We shall accomplish our goals soon. <laughs> oh, did I just say that out loud? Never mind. <laughs> so what's in the box? What do you know? It's the moon metal. Moon metal. Now, this person. Hello. The days of... Oh, come on. Why is the dialogue so weird sometimes? The days of ruins nigh. Those creatures will eat us alive. So long, cruel world. See, why does some text adma advance automatically and others I have to actually confirm before it advances? It's very inconsistent. Also makes it difficult to read it all. I heard what you did. You're amazing, by the way. Need some more armor? Yes, I do, but I don't have enough gold. But that's okay, it's all part of the plan. I will be returning very shortly. And he said stuff, but whatever. Time to go into the big doors on the left. Basically, I'm going to grind for some gold and then come back to town but I'm doing it all on camera because why not 
Because I get to show what happens when you use the genie. We haven't seen that yet. These are the times where it's appropriate. Unlocked the moon gate. So now we've got these electrical guys. And what do you know? I have Thunder Shield, so... It's Defense Against Thunder. I'm not sure if that helps at all with these guys, but... I have the shield. Oh, there was a magic attack, by the way, so it defeated the enemy right away. So yeah, basically double damage. Where are you going? Come back here. I'm not too concerned about losing health at this point. Because I'm going to return to town. Alright, magical attacks happen once every four times or something. I think that's what it said in the previous dungeon area. Got ourselves a life drop. Now, if I remember correctly, there's only one life drop in this uh, upcoming area that is easy to miss. But because this is a short video, I guess that will be in, in the next video. And I'll make sure to point it out when it happens. The kind of life drop that if you miss, you have to <laughs> exit out of the dungeon and return to town and then come all the way back. Because that's the only way to backtrack. And it's very deep into the dungeon area, so... <laughs> takes a long time to get there. You have to do a lot of stuff. Very handy, this uh, electrical magical attack. Oh, by the way, on the bottom here, can't go further right, so you can't just jump over to the right there. You have to go over. And someone in my building is making a lot of noise right now. Don't they know I'm recording? Okay, one of these statues, or at least two of them, I think, whatever, they're going to come to life! And you must defeat them. And if they are, they will drop a life drop, and if you miss that life drop, you're out of luck. I'm not sure if leaving and coming back will reset them, but if you miss them, just consider them lost forever, because you might not be able to get them back. So make, make an effort to collect them. I already forget how much gold I needed. I think it was 3,600 gold. So I might have to do a bit more grinding. And we got a sign. Hello, there is a hint behind one of the pillars.
Yeah, there's a sign somewhere. I think it's here. The sanctuary entrance lies before you. Gather your courage and leap into the water. Yeah, I could go to the place that we're going right now, but I think I still need more gold. And we're back. Okay, looks like I have 3,716 gold. Let's go ahead and use the lamp. All right, all right. Back to the city, right? Yes. Then let's go! And off to buy some armor. Very useful to have this armor. I didn't mention it last time, it might be obvious, but the better your armor is, the more red hearts you will have. There we go, knight armor, endurance plus seven. And nothing special about it, just endurance plus seven. All right, looks like those statues do not come back. So once again, it's a good idea to get the life drops when they drop them. Otherwise they're gone forever. Okay, so we just gotta press down and jump. And we're in the steam, uh, stream sanctuary. I wanna call it the steam sanctuary, whatever. Stream Sanctuary, because water. Gotta love the water temple. And that's it for this episode. When we come back, we're going to into the Stream Sanctuary. So thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moose production, and I'll see you next time.